Hello, Mark Sergeant again, and uh, we will create some horns for this uh, head for now. Uh, you can use uh, curve brushes for this, like uh, this curve alpha, for example. But uh, there are some benefits if you are using uh, a different method, like building up the horn uh, instead of just uh, using curves. So first of all, what I will do, I will insert. So in the subtool palette, insert. I have a subtool palette uh, here, uh, at least uh, the basics. So I will go insert and uh, sit in the 3D, but as a separate model. So instead of starting it at the head, I will open up as a separate model, sit in the 3D. Uh, because we don't have initialized yet. Uh, the reason is I want to elongate it and uh, I don't want to have too many stretched polygons. So initialize and uh, I can't dial this up any higher. So uh, it was 100, but let me set it to 10 and tab and 10 and tab and F to zoom in. And look at the resolution. So we need horizontal divides. Uh, vertical divide, vertical divide should be increased uh, a little bit higher, maybe maybe even higher. And this horizontal divide, 64. Good. This one, this is almost the maximum, so I will reduce this to 48. Good. Okay. Uh, that's good for now for me. So uh, this is a go to base probably a little bit thin uh, so I will increase it to 20 uh, it's just just personal taste so there's nothing crazy about this all right now in that case the V divide V divide should be lower so 100. great now this is time to press make poly mesh 3d and this uh, becomes cultable shift F you know shift F shows you the polygon colors if you see it in colors and it's not that gray anymore, uh, then that means you can sculpt on it. Uh, and using the starting material, starting material is basically a basic material, so there's no difference, uh, but you can save as starting material. So every time you launch ZBrush, it will open with those. And now we have it, uh, I will rename it subtool rename to horn and go back to the lady heads so where we are female heads and uh, you can choose that's that's exactly the same but uh, these options will come up anyway so if you click on the head icon for example uh, you will find all these additional models you have started working with in your project so this these are those all right shift f and uh, let me go and insert and use the horn and uh, I'll pull a little bit to the front. Let me turn off perspectivity by pressing P and pull this a little bit ahead. And uh, so I want to uh, sculpt this a little bit more on um, with symmetry, but not just like left to right, but radial symmetry to create a nice effect. So let me double click on here to the divider and go to transform, drop, drag, drop, transform here. And we have symmetry. And axis left to right, it's the red one. Uh, we can use radial symmetry, but it's wrong axis. Can you see how it looks a little bit bad? So it's uh, horizontal, it's usually the Y. So now it works fine. Can you see it's horizontally making this radial symmetry, but uh, we have to turn on locus symmetry, otherwise, it will not happen or will not change things. I will increase the radial count because the points, we don't have too much points, so it's uh, it's not the smoothest thing. So I will increase that to a kind of double 16. What's what it does? Okay, it's still not that much. So, yeah, somewhat. Okay, this is good. So what I will do basically is just uh, create some... Uh, uh, patterns for the horn. Uh, I'm not super accurate. Some will be thicker, some will be thinner. I'm using alt and pushing in. So I'm just, uh, I should say it's almost random. So I'm just giving them a, a texture to it. And uh, because we have quite a good and fast solution for this, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, it's it doesn't look like a horn. We have to uh, change the taper 
uh, adjustment and things, uh, but that will be it to go. So before I do that taper thing, I will do something else. Uh, let me turn off uh, actual radial symmetry. So I will set it back to the original state where we had just X. And uh, there's a move uh, that's called infinite move, which what I really do like. It is new, relatively new in ZBrush, but it's pretty old in every other software. So B, M, and N is the hotkey for this. B, M, and here it is, uh, move infinite. Uh, which one is a cool finally to have it here and uh, I will just drag this okay symmetry is still on so I, I wanted to make it asymmetrical okay so I'm creating kind of a, a jagged outline for for this one okay it's if if you taper this before you actually start making uh, these it's really hard you know because it's it's not a cylinder anymore, but when you are in this kind of somewhat cylindrical state, you can use this move infinite quite easily. And don't forget, perspective is turned off, and you can always use the skull or head whenever you have it here, and uh, rotate it accordingly. Okay, so once we have it, we can switch back to uh, switch to W move, and then look for a deformer. So deformer like. Uh, uh, this one and uh, actually we don't need that many points uh, the in-between is should be okay so I, need, I will keep that one but I don't want to have that many control and alt dragging selecting and we'll scale it down okay to make it pointy and later on I can fade it out so make it really uh, pointy at the end but uh, it's always, uh, you know, it's always the last touch. So control alt, tapping outside it inverts. Control and alt and dragging it shows everything. Control and alt and selecting a particular uh, set of points will highlight only those. Now I'm increasing the uh, diameter, lifting this up, and uh, guess what? I will rotate just to add some. Uh, funny things to it. Okay, so make it curvy. It's it's up to you basically. I'm just showing uh, standard options to uh, what may come in your mind. Okay, so I'm happy with this. Uh, if we want to go, we can actually go back a bit, like here, and make a copy. Or at this stage, before we started to actually rotating this, I will keep it as it is and make a duplicate. And that way, uh, this is kind of a Secure save, so I can rename to horn base, and this is the horn we are working with. Uh, yeah, this is the horn we are working with. So we have the history, the undo history. This is what I did. I was I was cranking down the undo history, and then used the duplicate to create the horn. Okay, so because the the undo history is not uh, every time when you have an undo history, you can create a duplicate. And the duplicate will uh, be exactly the same as you have stopped in, in the process. But when you have this duplicate, can you see the under history of this horn base? That's the duplicate. Is only this two two thing, and there's no twist. But the original horn, it has it has all the under history. It has the twist included. Okay, so because the du when you are duplicating model, it will erase the under history. So that's a kind of a fresh start for the model. All right, now let me go in, accept, and move this guy into position. So what I will do, I will hold down Alt key, and that unlocks this gizmo. So I can move it away. Uh, yes, hide this one. Move it, and move it in position. We have no sockets around, so I will just stick this one in the head. Okay good not the best but still good okay here we go yeah and uh, be careful do not rotate the gizmo away like this so do don't do this any type of uh, adjustment here is uh, not idea because when you are applying the former sorry bend curve bend curve will recognize the orientation of the 3d gizmo so this little cone will 
uh, help us to increase resolution. And uh, from now on, I will try and move and make the make these changes for the horn and stretching it quite a lot. Okay, so it all angle, all angle. It it really counts. Okay, not just one angle, all angle. Yeah, all right. So you can be quite creative with it. And uh, as you see, we have the patterns going on pretty well. And uh, we can even uh, twist things around, like add additional twists. So it's up to you. All of these have their own handles. So if you want to go crazy and add more twists, you can do it. And as you see, I made this uh, with the infinite, so these grooves are pretty, pretty strong here. Uh, and let me twist somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Keep it as it is. Right. And uh, once it is done, accept. And of course, we can uh, go and choose and use the Z plugin. Where we are, Subtool Master and Mirror. And press OK. So we have now this horse perspective. And of course, uh, if it's not perfect, you can still fine tune, holding down Alt key, moving, press X, and uh, there we go. It is symmetrical, so if you want to adjust, and lift them up, uh, position them, move them behind, rotate in this direction, so it's, it is up to you. All right, that's it. That is about how to create horns with uh, somewhat more control over the shape and create a uh, more exciting uh, and actually this is sculptable because we have a relatively good uh, quality mesh so if you want to go further you can press ctrl D uh, shift F and uh, you can sculpt with a BDS Damien standard brush and sculpt furthermore uh, or you can use for example an alpha and uh, create patterns like the uh, BLA layer brush with a drag rex alpha. And there's uh, alpha this. And layer brush has it's good because it's it will not create very popping uh, details, but uh, they're they're good quality and the size is even. So the extrusion of these dots. And of course, if you're holding them old, you can create some cavities and. Uh, that's quite a good addition and quickly you can create the main shapes, secondary shapes and the tertiary shapes. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, goodbye.